Sometimes when you write pieces, you just get them looping in your head and I'll sing them, but no one knows it. So it's just like, it's my own piece. My name is Brooklyn Wood. I live in Fort Langley, and I am a grade 12 music major at Langley Fine Arts School. I've been taking music at the Langley Community Music School, and I study violin with Louisa Nalepkew, and I studied composition with Marcel Bergman. I've been playing the violin for 12 years. I started playing in a Suzuki group class. I played on a cereal box and a ruler. And after that, I kind of just started to explore more music in chamber groups and orchestra. Violin has been a big part of my life. I was inspired by the female Canadian poet, Ellen Yaffe. She moved to Canada after the States. She wrote China Beach during the Kosovo War. And I feel like when she was writing, she was really inspired by the peacefulness in BC, but still trying to think about what was going on in the world. My musical interpretation of the poem was of a person reflecting between the differences of the wars going on to the safety of their own home. And I really felt like that coincided with COVID, especially with feeling like we were all stuck at home while there was just chaos going on the outside. I could clearly hear um, a rocking pattern in the poem. So I started to write this wave-like pattern on my violin and it started with string crossings. And I wrote it all in one sitting. It was completely improvised, like the whole entire line of the piece. I really wanted to capture the sense of anxiety that I felt when reading the poem, but also keep that calming sensation going through, like the rocking and rolling of the strings. I eventually wrote a cello part. I played it on my sister's cello and I began to put the parts together and I kind of saw how they fit. I listened to the duet and I didn't know where it was going and then I kind of put it away for a while. And then when the Microcosmos Quartet approached me about having a piece in the program, I immediately thought about what I had already been writing, especially having composers on the program that had been through major worldwide disrupting events. I kind of felt like I needed to take what I had written in the time and kind of bring it to life. This year was my third year in Kessler Academy, and it's really one of my favorite programs. I think everyone should be playing present composers that are still alive. I think new music should be something that everyone experiences. So Kessler has always been something I really think is important because they teach young musicians how to embrace and how to bring modern music into professional concerts. And the community in Kessler is so wonderful as well. We get to work side by side with the Microcosmos Quartet. You get a lot of mentorship, lots of opportunities to explore with new musicians. And I always meet someone new at the camp, which is also awesome. <laughs> It's also very cool because it's a conductorless camp, which means you learn how to lead, which is super important as a musician to learn how to lead and lead as a group. It's almost like we all have an important leadership role in the orchestra. And also in the learning process too, we get to bring up questions and you kind of feel like you're engaged in this discussion with everyone. I'm very fortunate to have this whole opportunity from the Microcosmos Quartet. Music on Main, Kessler, also just the support of my teachers and my whole family. They've been backing me up for so long. This whole thing has been amazing. 